Okay, we're going to go over creating a banner for a site in Joomla 1.7. Log into the back end here. And uh, under the extensions, uh, we're going to be looking at banners. Uh, the banners themselves, categories, and clients. Okay, so first we'll start with a client. And we're in the client section, click New. And three basic pieces you need the company or client name. And the name and the email. Oops. All right. Uh, if you want to add some meta. your own prefix so you don't need to. Um, basically we're going to save and close there. Oops, I actually want to make sure that we are, um, you can either set your yeah, number of clicks under their purchase types. Uh, this is kind of at your own discretion. Uh, track impressions, yes. Track clicks, yes. Alright, click save and close. Right, now we need to have a category. Okay. Um, and you can have several categories per client. Um, in this case, I will do. In this particular case, I would probably do software. Um, all right, and hardware. banners themselves. And we're going to create a new banner. Okay, we have two different categories. All right. I'm going to call this Joomla, for lack of a better word. Okay, we're going to use the images. Uh, you can upload your own custom images, or you can use with what you have. But with what Joomla gives you, probably not going to use those. You want to design your own. But uh, I've done one for myself. All right. Uh, if you want to change the width in the text, you can. Otherwise, I just leave it there. All right. Uh, the URL they're going to be directed to. And what the description, basically when they're uh, when people are reading it. Okay. So we're going to say. Start and publish. Finish publish. Uh, basically, leave those alone if you're going to do that. If you're going to publish right now, uh, yes for a sticky. And this is kind of what the definition is. Basically, it's um, whether they're going to take priority over any of the others in the same category. Okay, max impressions unlimited. Or if you want to set a max impression, it will stop showing the impressions once it reaches that point. Uh, this is going to track your impressions and clicks. Uh, the client selected. Okay. Unlimited track. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now you got the uh, banners up. Uh, and let me show you the site here. Uh, there's nothing there right now. We're going to go to the module manager and site modules. We're going to do a new module. It's going to be a banners, so a module type of banners. Okay, and we'll call it Port City. And we're going to look for a position. All right, uh, we're using uh, Gantry framework, Gantry framework templates from Rocket Theme. So generally, content top A is going to be good for us. Uh, there's not much else in there already published. Um, again, publishing start and finish 
just leave them blank if you're going to publish it right away um, on all pages or specific pages we want this on all of them client and use both categories uh, you can be this you can have the searchable by tag or not and you have header and footer text as well Save and close. And we'll go back here and refresh. And there's our banner. So here's your header and here's your footer text. Uh, we, uh, we left the uh, title open. So I would go back in and probably hide the uh, title. We don't really need to see that. Alright, there we go. So now that'll show up on top of your in the content top A position on all your pages. And you can do this for many, many banners. You can have uh, quite a rotating pool to pull from. and uh, It's pretty powerful. It uh, gives you a good way to attract some advertising to your site and use affiliate type marketing. So, thanks for watching.